Hey guys, it's your inner chakras. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Thank you for all your likes, subscribes. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Guys, if you are in a connection, it could be a new connection and you want to know where it's going. If you have your eye on somebody and you want to know where it's going. If you're talking to somebody and you want to know where it's going. This is going to be that reading. I couldn't bring no cards. So we're going to see what the future looks like with this person, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, for the collective. What does the future look like with the person that is on your mind, right? Holy Spirit, Holy Angels. Holy Collective Spirit, what does their future look like with the person on their mind? <laughs> yeah, we y'all gonna be getting getting dressed up and hanging out on the town. Okay. Y'all gonna be looking fly. Can you match my fly? Can you match my fly? What else? What does your future look like? <clears throat> you gonna be getting engaged. Are you ready to pick out your wedding bands? You're gonna be getting engaged and looking at your bands, which means you already set the date, okay? Not engaged for years, but engaged with a wedding date. You're going to take this person's breath away every day, right? Y'all going to be like best friends. You're going to be hanging out with friends and family. Everybody's going to get along. This person's going to fall in love with you more and more each day, right? Each day. Let's see who this person is with the romance. So this is your future with the person that's on your mind, right, guys? If you play your cards right, and I'm playing your cards right now, doggone it. Nah. <laughs> Hopefully, these unions will be blessed, right? Who's going to be Because you're going to be hanging out with your best friends. Y'all going to be getting dressed up. It says, let your friends help you, guys. It says, ask for accept and support from others. So maybe your friends and stuff going to be helping you get dressed. Look, for your wedding day. Maybe she's going to be helping you get dressed, right? Wow, guys, this person is worth waiting for. Divine timing is at play in your life, guys. This could be a new love. So if you're wondering about your new love, your new love is worth waiting for. Your new love is going to want to marry you in the future, right? Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So whatever that is, guys, you have that in common as well, right? Close to the angel. Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic love life. So guys, right now, it could be something in your present that either you or your person is holding on to that you need to let go of. It's an addiction. It could be maybe you shop too much and they're like, don't do that. Maybe this person do this too much and you like, don't do that. Maybe they play too many video games and you like, don't do that. It's, it's a codependency of something for both of you. And then you have healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So maybe you have a codependency with your parents. I don't know. But maybe you or your person are going to have to heal something with your family. You know what it is. You can feel it right now. You know what's going on. But whatever that is, you will heal it, right? <coughs> now let's see. If your person wants to tell you some love messages, what would they say, right? I'll give you some love messages. And this is the Love Jones deck, guys. Give you some love messages from your person. Ooh, Ooh spirit. It says you are perfect to me, so they like you just the way you are. They like you when you wear those jeans. You probably got a favorite pair of jeans they like. I want to marry my best friend. You are my best friend. And I said it up there. I said you was going to get married. I said you're going to be hanging out with your best friend, remember? Mm-hmm. See how me and spirit work? What else they want to say to you? That they scared to say, right? Ooh, too. 
It says nothing else matters when it comes to you. This connection really is special. So they're happy to have you. You are my one and only. I know this now. Ooh, beautiful messages, beautiful messages, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Let's put some tarot on this, guys. So your future is going to look bright. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what is the future looking like? Some tarot. Y'all can be hanging out. Y'all can be having good times. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what does the future look like? The collective and the person on their mind. Wow. It may come with some karmics. Other people are going to be watching y'all, right? Other people are going to be watching you all. It's going to be some childish people. Okay, your principles in reverse. So when you two come together, people are going to be watching you. Here's an emperor here. But your emperor is going to be standing strong. He's going to be making moves, right? He's going to be making moves. He said, let him watch. Yep, yeah, see, here's a karmic here. It's a knight of wands in reverse. So a karmic is going to be watching you. It's a king of wands in reverse. But your emperor... The love of the person on your mind is going to be like, let them watch. They don't care. So what else is going to happen here? Yeah, so you and the emperor, <laughs> y'all going to be celebrating. And it looks like you're going to turn your back on a connection. Maybe your emperor is going to turn it back on a connection. But y'all don't care. Like, y'all made a decision here to be together. Y'all going to make a decision to be together. And some comics are going to be here. They're not going to be happy about it. But the emperor's like, I don't care. I'm making moves. I'm making moves, right? Come to get my baby. Yep, and here's the, the queen of pentacles here in reverse. So basically, there's two karmics here. There's a male karmic and a female karmic. I'm just going to call it like I see it. So, so this is your, your person's karmic. They're going to show up too. No one's happy. Yep, but he's dropping his burdens. He dropped his burdens with that karmic. He dropped it. This masculine says, I'm making decisions in my life, right? I'm making moves. He realized that this karma here was not his ace of pentacles, he, not a gift from spirit. He also could have lost money in that situation. And he just feels like, look, I lost enough here already. I'm just going to take this L, take this loss, and move on, right? And here's the ten of pentacles here. So masculine is taking an L so he can move on, right? He didn't protect himself, right? He didn't protect himself. Like, I guess what went down in that situation there. He was wide open. But he's tired. He's tired of having to protect himself. That was the nine of swords in reverse, guys, but it flipped a few times. He's trying to have it to protect himself. His heart is broken over the situation, though, guys. And he's just thinking about it now, contemplating, like, what am I going to do? He loves you, but trust and believe. People have lives before they get to you. So your person is leaving somebody, and so are you. So this could be a new love. It could be a new old love. Like, you know, somebody you haven't seen in years, and then it comes back, and then it's new because... All right, the last time you saw each other, you were 16, and now you're 25. Last time you saw each other, you was 25, now you're 32, 32, 40. You know what I mean? It's like that. So, it could be new. Holy Spirit, Holy Angels, what else is to come here? With this future love. So, your person went through some things. They took a knee, I told you. They just gave up on that connection. It's like, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired of you change your ways, right? person probably wouldn't want to change. What else? Yep. They're walking away from a child's mom. I didn't like the way that fell out. So they're walking away from an interest in reverse here. This person is following like their intuition, their passion. Their, their third eye is open. It's like they want more out of life. They're seeking more out of life, right? They realize they want more. 
realize their passion don't burn for this this Empress in reverse anymore. So they're trying to stay strong, guys. They know it's going to take strength to move forward. But they're not happy where they're at. They don't want what they're what, what they're being given at this time. So they're choosing to move on. This person is walking away. They're abandoning a path that they're currently, currently on. Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's the angels. Four swords in reverse. They have healed. They healed from it. What else for you? Think about this future. And that's how they're able to come and offer you this love. It Spirit just gave us a background story. Like, you two are going to be happy when you come together. And it also shows you what they're going to have to heal. Remember I said they have to heal some family issues, you or them? It came out here. They have a children here, some a child or children with a karmic. I mean, a, I don't want to call her karmic. But an empress in reverse. So they can have some children. So that could be the family issues that they need to fix. And that could also be the codependency. Meaning maybe they have to pay so much child support that they can't move on. That they feel stuck there. Or maybe that's what's holding them there is their children. Although they're not happy. You know what I mean? But they could be standing for their children. Alright guys. I just gave somebody's testimony. Holy spirit, holy angels. But they want you. <laughs> they do. The queen of cups. They think you're loving. They think you're psychic. <laughs> they think your third eye is open. Holy Spirit, holy angels. Yeah, they want you. They're going to end this connection that they're in. It's the higher for the universe. Yep. They said it's too much. The five of wands set out. They're tired of fighting. They're tired of getting held back. And what makes them happy, right? They're coming back to you. I told you. Y'all know each other. The Six of Swords in reverse, which means y'all were together, probably left each other, and coming back together. Yeah, this person is all within their head, though. They're just like, how am I going to do it? I want this change, but how, right? Thanks for me, Angels. Ooh, spirit. Now you tell me how, but it's, it ain't right. I'm telling y'all, once the day I fall, it's not going to be pretty. I don't feel like getting up. That's just, it ain't right. Jimmy. Okay. So they all look in their head, right? They're just thinking about my next steps. Because y'all wanted up together, apparently. That's what the cards say. Let's see how it ends. What is the cards for that connection? Yeah, they have to end this two of cups. It's like they're up in their head about ending this two of cups, but they're going to do it. They ended this two of cups. I want this change. What else? They want to rebirth with you. Told you. They want to come back to you. Come back to you. Come back to you. Coming back as the King of Pentacles. They thought about it. They got their ducks in a row. They want to plant some seeds with you, or they see you in abundance. They see that whatever maybe you two planted together, if you plant some seeds together, it's gonna to take off. It'll grow. They're also following their intuition, right? This person believes they can build with you. They can build with you. Start a foundation together, right? Anything else, Spirit? There's that Cormac. Cormac don't like it. Cormac don't like it. She doesn't like the fact that he's he's going to be offering you a proposal in love. He wants to marry you. He probably told her that. That's the night of cups. Cormac doesn't like it. No, she doesn't like it. He doesn't go into it anyway. He's in his right mind, guys. Ace of Swords. He said, this is my final decision. You do not get the final rose, Penelope. <laughs> Daphne. You do not get the final rose. Somebody else is getting that rose. Yep, and he's not a good head about it. He goes, this is what I want to do. I am for certain. Anything else here? I'm just certain. And 
here he comes in his chariot. Guys, don't you play with me. Don't play with me in my cards. There's the world cards. Don't you play with me. There's the lovers. Don't you play with me. He has some regrets. But not enough to go back. Five of Pentacles in reverse. He wants emotional fulfillment. Jeez Louise. And he doesn't want anyone else. Seven of Cups in reverse. He doesn't want anyone else. He's ending that partnership. He goes again. There's the tower. Mm, spirit. He's following his intuition, guys. And he's walking away from that karmic queen of swords in reverse. And he's going to do it quickly. And there you are, sitting pretty, working. You don't even see it happening. Lord have mercy. Or he's working hard to get to you. And when he gets to you, he's going to work hard to keep you. Guys, this is your reading. Nah. That's your future. And this is how it got there. But your future is, you're going to be hitting the town. You're going to be looking out. You're going to be picking out wedding bands in your future. All right, guys, with the person that's on your mind. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace.